Back home now. The latest real estate winners and losers have been revealed, and it's the beachfront suburbs leading the way. And for the first time, Queensland has a suburb where the median house price is $2 million. What can $2 million buy you in the historic riverside suburb of Tenerife? Not these riverfront properties, nor most of these homes high on the hill. But it will get you this 405 square metre property in need of serious work and the potential for some breathtaking views. And what it shows us is that that prestige market and those very popular suburbs, we're seeing some extraordinary price growth in those areas. The latest Real Estate Institute report confirms Tenerife as Queensland's first $2 million suburb. Local cafe owner Tim Jay says despite the price tag, it's a pretty down-to-earth place. It's a very close-knit sort of village atmosphere to Tenerife. I mean, despite the median house price being, you know, $2.5 million or whatever it is, um, everyone here is very friendly. We all know each other. The report shows several of Brisbane's more expensive suburbs aren't faring as well. The biggest losers in the property stakes are Highgate Hill, Milton, Kelvin Grove and West End. Overall, Brisbane grew by 2.8%. It's the fifth most affordable capital city with a median house price of $529,000. But the city's unit market went backwards. The state's standout was the Gold Coast, with house prices growing by nearly 8%. The beachfront markets of the Gold Coast, Sunshine Coast and Noosa have outshone the Brisbane property market and we've seen really extraordinary growth in all of those markets. Mermaid Beach is the Gold Coast's most expensive suburb with a median house price of $1.56 million. It's a very nice place. It's, it generally is fairly quiet. Um, it's central. It's walking distance to just about everything. The report shows the mining downturn continues to impact central Queensland. The town of Blackwater recorded a 70% drop last year, with the median house price falling from $120,000 to just $36,000. Donna Field, ABC News.